Hello, welcome to your video on the quadratic formula. This is the last way of solving quadratic function equations. And this is what will work all the time, especially when those numbers aren't the easiest numbers ever. Your I can statement is I will be able to solve quadratic functions equations using the quadratic formula. Make sure you get that down in your notes. The most important part of this video is knowing what the quadratic formula is and that you can see listed here. In order to solve for x or find your solutions, you're going to use the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2a. Why does it work? For those that are curious, you can pause your video and take a look at this because this explains exactly why it works. If you don't really care, don't worry about it. How do I use the quadratic formula? Um, the quadratic formula I put up in the right corner here. So we're going to use that as we solve the problems. Example number one here. Your terms are important to know. You have your a and C terms, and it already is equal to zero, so you're all set. And then you just plug in. So the opposite of B would be 3 plus or minus the square root B squared, so 3 squared minus 4 is always 4, times A, which is 2, times C, which is negative 5, all divided by 2 times A, which is 2. And then we just kind of slowly simplify this. It does take a little bit of time to do, um, but that, that's just the nature of the quadratic formula. So I now have 9 minus 4 times 2 times negative 5, all over 4. I can simplify that even more, negative 3 plus or minus the square root. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. So 9 minus negative 40, and that becomes a big plus. So I have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 49 all over 4. And we're getting closer. This can simplify to negative 3 plus or minus 7, square root of 49 is 7, all divided by 4. Now we can break it into two pieces. So negative 3 plus 7, all divided by 4, and negative 3 minus 7, all divided by 4. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4, so 4 over 4 gives me 1. And then this way, Negative 3 plus negative 7 gives me negative 10 over 4, which I can simplify by dividing by 2. I get negative 5 halves. So my answer is 1 and negative 5 halves. Alright, next problem. Here you can see that we are not equal to 0, so that's the first thing we need to do. So x squared minus 4x and then subtract 21 will give me 0. Now I have my a, b, and c term. I use x equals the opposite of b. So b is negative 4, so 4 plus or minus the square root b squared would be negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 21 all divided by 2 times 1 and then very carefully very slowly we are going to simplify this and that will be 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus and then 4 times 1 is 4 4 times negative 21 gives me negative 84 Oops. all divided by 2. And simplify it even further now. 
and I have subtracting a negative, which is basically adding, it turns to a big positive. So I have 16 plus 84, and I get 4 plus or minus the square root of 100, all divided by 2. And then 4 plus or minus 10, all divided by 2. Now these square roots are actually working out nicely to be perfect squares, but that's not always the case. Break it apart now. I have 4 plus 10, which is 14. 14 divided by 2 gives me an answer of 7. And then I have 4 minus 10 divided by 2, and that's negative 6 divided by 2, which will give me negative 3. Don't always work this nicely, trust me. What is the discriminant and how do I use it? Discriminant is what you see in green here. It's what's under the radical, the square root button um, in your quadratic formula. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. You can use this. It can be positive, negative, or zero. But more importantly, the reason why you use it is because it tells you how many solutions you're going to have um, without even having to graph. If your discriminant is greater than zero, you will have two real solutions. If it equals zero, there's going to be one solution. And if it's less than zero, there are no solutions. All right, it is time for your turn. Number one, what are the solutions for the equation? Please use the quadratic formula. You can use a calculator also if you would like. And number two, how many solutions does 6x squared minus 5x equals 7 have? Again, you don't need to solve it. I just want to know how many solutions there will be. Go ahead and do this. When you're done, turn your video back on so you can check your answers. All right, answers are in green. If you have questions, bring them to class. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.